Welcome to Ella's Beef Easter's Radio Air Check and Classic TV Channel. Well, I don't know how the station announced, uh, when I leave, Bernie and Sid are going to do a morning. Have they announced that yet? They have not announced that yet because we, we want to celebrate you. We don't, it doesn't matter what happens after you. We'll of course worry about does. that later. And I told Sidney, I said, uh, well, what's, uh, they, they, uh, Bernie's like a son to me. And, uh, and has been all these years, and he knows that. So, and Sid's sort of the same way. So, and you know how I, why I think they're going to be successful? Because I like to talk to them. Ah, very nice. Thank so you. So I like to I like to know what they think about stuff. Thank you. Well, that's a pretty good sign. I would. Yeah, I, I, an I, excellent sign. You, excellent sign. Shut up, all the idiots. Shut up, Bernie. Shut up, Bernie. Thirty-four after the hour. There's a record apparently I did. I don't remember doing it. And I don't think it was ever released, or if it was, I, I, well, I don't know how this guy got it, Jake Whitman. But it's, it's terrible, by the way. But I, but, and, and, and now I don't know, but I think maybe James Burton played guitar on this record, but I'm not sure. Called The Ballad of Rick Nelson. It's the I Man. get big. I want to be just like Ricky Nelson. Singing teenage songs to teenage girls. 14 going on 18. Make lots of money. There was some. Yeah, a traveling man with a girl in every port who I just love to hurt. A regular teenage idol. With a guitar picker, exactly like Jimmy Burke. But along came the Beatles and the Fifth Dimension, the Stones and Dylan and the Mothers of Invention, and they ruined it all. Nashville to Napa. Now when I grow up, I want to be just like Frank Zappa. Hey, waitress, give me a Reuben and a Jess. Oh, there was Ozzy and Harriet, David and the dog. All of us is on TV. <laughs> I used to sit home every Thursday night, say to myself, hey, man, that ought to be me on TV. I'm a man of the people. The bailout program for boring radio. I'm us in the morning. My friend Jake Whitman, who I don't know, but... The TV guy who sent me all of the uh, all of, all of the records I had made years ago and forgotten about. He sent me the label from uh, the Ballad of Ricky Nelson, and it was it was released. It was on a thing called Happy Tiger Records, and it was produced by Tom Hartman, not, not the priest Tom Hartman, but Tom Hartman was from Oklahoma City, and he was a guy. We were in the Marine Corps together, and he was from an enormously wealthy family. And uh, well, I don't know why we just became friends in the Marine Corps. And uh, one time we stole a, I did, stole a, a star off a general's Jeep, the license plate deal. And Tom had a brand new Buick or something like that, you know. So we put it on the Buick and then drove off the base with it. And uh, we made the made the guard. We had no pass to leave the base, Camp Pendleton, and, uh, and made and made the guard uh, at the gate salute us, and never got caught. Anyway, Tom then, uh, for whatever reason, we stayed in touch when I got out of the ring car, and he produced uh, the Battle of the Ricky Nelson and another thing called from Adam's Rib to Women's Lib. To whatever that was called, so so that's a, so I never sold anything because it uh, was essentially terrible. But but it had to be sometime in God, I don't know. It was before I got into radio, and uh, so sometime between '65 and '68, as we stroll down memory lane, there we go. Anything else said? No, let's hear this. I'm excited. Hear what? The problem you're talking about. 
What? This album you're talking about. It's not an album. What do you want to hear? Well, it's not an album. What is it? No, it was a story. It was a good story. Well, story. Oh, you mean from Adam's Rib to Women's Lib? Yes. Yeah. Well, this record is terrible. No. But-